All right, stocks racing along right now. We have the Dow at such a highs up better than 460 points, had been down at our worst level of the day, close to 200 points. So that's about a 640 point swing here. Um, what's behind it? The president's comments, of course, that uh, he is going to impose, in fact, has already signed off on all Russian oil coming into this country. That would include liquefied natural gas. Uh, he's banning that as well. Uh, Britain going along, although they're going to take a little longer to do it. Not all of Europe going along. Uh, but this was a big unknown. It was represented to some a reversal on the part of the president here that he would not entertain doing this. But bipartisan opposition to that stance, uh, he pivoted a little bit. Maybe they're hoping he pivots when it comes to the issue of uh, revisiting domestic oil production. Hard to say, but maybe Claire Chase knows, the Mac Energy Corporation Director of Government Relations. Claire, thank you for being so patient in the middle of all this breaking news. Um, is there a, a thought that maybe the president, since he did change his mind on outright banning all Russian oil, that he might change his mind on domestic oil production? What do you think? Well, Neil, thank you for having me on. And I, you know, there. There certainly is a hope, and it would be the right move. Um, it's just been really difficult to understand what President Biden has been thinking since the day that he took office. I mean, as we look at his actions, he went ahead and banned Keystone Pipeline almost immediately and signaled that he was going to make it more difficult for us to drill by putting a hold on federal leases, by doing a number of things, um, but then going ahead and agreeing with Nord Stream 2. So, uh, it's interesting today. I mean, I mean, this is a crisis of President Biden's making. If he had allowed us to continue to drill the way that we were under President Trump, um, I don't think we'd be seeing $130 oil today. You know what the administration says about that, that there are 9,000 leases the oil industry has, and they're not implementing them. What they fail to point out is we, we had, you know, close to 40,000 such leases uh, last year. So they've been working aggressively on them. Having said all of that, though, there is the view from the White House uh, talking about a pipeline or revisiting domestic production isn't going to change what are just a supply demand equation that favors prices going still higher. And they talk about the available supply today. What do you say? I think, uh, yeah, 9,000 leases available is, is such a misleading number. I mean, it's, it's a complicated situation. You know, we have um, permits, but what we don't, we, we are facing the same issues that other industries are facing with the supply chain, with labor shortage. So we can have all the permits in the world, but if we can't get the casing to protect the groundwater, then we can't drill. And so, you know, we also need to get the rights of way for our roads to access that lease or for the, for the lines that we need to move the product. And that's controlled by the Interior Department, which has been very slow to get us answers on those rights of way. So uh, I think it's really sort of a disingenuous figure to say, well, we're being very supportive when from day one, as I mentioned, the signal to oil and gas companies has been, we don't want you drilling on federal land. And so as a result, we are making the choice to invest elsewhere and to slow down. And as you look at you know, the timeline of those leases as well, it takes a year for us to get a permit back from the federal government. So we have to plan a year in advance, and we have two to three years to drill that permit. So, you know, what, what we're seeing, yes, is a bit of a pileup, but that's also because of COVID. You know, when the economies of the world are being open and then shut down again and open and shut down again, we can't just ramp up production overnight um, when we don't know what the economy wants. And so we're ready, right. we're willing. Yes, it's going to take a little bit of time to get online, but uh, we are we can supply the world with the cleanest natural gas and fossil fuels on the planet. Claire Chase, thank you very, very much. Back Energy Corporation Director of Government of Relations. To expand on that point, just because you have a lease doesn't mean you know, you'll be able to instantly act on it. Again, just pointing this in a reference, uh, you have to get permits, you have to uh, go through a process where you begin hiring at multiple levels. It can take actually up to 10 years. But even with all of that, uh, with the leases that the industry had last year at this time, close to 40,000, uh, now whittled down to 9,000. We thought you'd want to know that. That's something called a fact.